Hi, Pickle. Hi, Pickle. Hi, Pickle. <laughs> <laughs> drunk baby. <laughs> drunk daddy. Drunk, yeah, daddy's drunk too. So we're doing another episode, right? Yes. Is that what we're doing? Yes, right. What are we on now? Six. Six? Have we done, is this our sixth episode? Yes, it is. Wow. That means we've done the fit test five times already? This, this six is the sixth. Time. This is going to be the sixth time? We should be professionals by now. Yeah, I, I hope I don't do worse. <laughs> oh, are you guys there? Welcome to episode six. <laughs> Welcome to episode six. You guys excited for our sixth episode? Yay, six. Sixth of eight. Six. Sixth of eight. Collect them all. They're limited edition. <laughs> episode five was kind of a downer. The theme going through it was you screwed up your diet, you screwed up your weight loss. You screwed everything up. You're just your a big workout. failure. You're worthless. You know, You're worthless you know. and you don't deserve uh, any good things. Too and much. that's definitely how we felt. <laughs> it is. For that whole two week period of time. That's how, that's how we felt. And I know there's a lot of you out there who felt the same way, who were like, I've thrown this whole thing away. I've worked so hard for 10 weeks, ten weeks yeah. and I just threw it all away because I was a glutton and greedy and <laughs> it's terrible. We had a lot of emails of people trying to console us, man. Yeah, a lot of people were like, it's okay, dude, it's okay. Don't quit, don't quit. That's and that's absolutely, guy. that's that's amazing. It's good to have a support system. But it's also important, as we found out, as much importance as you can put on a support system, it's 10 times more important to do it yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't count on somebody else saying, hey, you can do it. You need to tell yourself, look, oh, I screwed up for two weeks, but I'm not going to throw 10 weeks away. I'm going to start again. That's right. And that way I only have two weeks to make up on. If you don't remember, before you started this whole journey, for me personally, I'd thrown six years away <laughs> of not taking care of myself. So two weeks, bah, what's two weeks? Yeah. So hopefully the theme of uh, this show will be, yay! Fucking let's do this again! I don't even care, I back hope. On track. Get back up again if you fall. Hey, hey. Are we all back on track though? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Suspense. Do, do, do. Perhaps we will answer that at a later time. But first, we ask the revolutionaries and the revolutionette what their favorite exercise move is. Huh? <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Hey everybody, what's up? It is Josh, and I am here to show you my favorite exercise move. What it is called, it is called a four ball push-up. What you have here is you've got four balls. They can be four medicine balls, they can be four basketballs, just as long as you have four balls. What I like about it the most is, well this puts even more tension on your core because you have to stabilize yourself. You're using those small muscles that you normally don't use. So using more muscle than you would do if you did a normal push-up. I like this because from here down to here, you're working it all and you're working those small muscles you usually don't do. That's all I've got for you. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. One of my favorite exercises are lower abdominal leg lifts. What you're gonna need for this is a mat like I have put there. The reason you need this is just to make sure that you're not really hurting your lower back. Get on the mat, hold on to your partner's leg. Your objective is to keep your back completely straight and then you put your legs up. You wanna try to keep them in point, bring them down, and then your partner's gonna push them back as soon as you do. And then that is my favorite workout. My favorite exercise move is the deep heavy squats. Uh, I used to do it all the time playing football. It's my favorite, but since I can't show you or demonstrate that right now, um, I'll just have to choose my second favorite, which is narrow push-ups. It's when you tuck your elbows in, don't let them flare out. My chest is a natural weak spot in my physique due to shoulder surgeries, and that just killed my chest and my triceps. Look, you know, like, I want big arms, you know, what guy doesn't? That's probably my second favorite move at the moment. Awesome, that was pretty cool. That was awesome. That was pretty cool. Thank you, revolutionaries and revolutionettes. I really liked A.O. Boss's one. A.O. Boss's That was awesome. pretty cool. I mean, I yeah. That's pretty awesome. Katie's thing was amazing. <laughs> That was awesome what Katie did. <laughs> that was my favorite exercise. Thank you so much, revolutionaries, revolutionettes, and I hope you guys at home could take those little tips. Yes. When, just do one of those things. You got like 30 seconds, pump those things out. Personally, I like push-ups. What do you like? Flying sidekick. 
What about you? <laughs> what? What? It's flying. It's, like... <laughs> it's what Liu Kang does. <laughs> <laughs> Me, I think I would say sit up. I, it's the first same thing. thing. That comes you can just head. bam. Exercise is super important. Don't forget to do exercise because a lot of people have changed their diet. And granted, diet is seventy percent of it. If you can change how many calories you take in, you will start losing weight. The problem is you only lose as many calories as you can burn. So you can like lower your calories, but if you're not burning any, it doesn't help. There's no quick fix. This is a one-two punch. You need to change how many calories you eat and you have to exercise. Do something, anything. God, please. <laughs> Don't just eat miracle noodles. Guys, do something before he freaking has a temperature. <laughs> Earlier, yes. we had a little foreshadowing. That's a literature word <laughs> for hinting at what's gonna happen later. Not like alliteration. <laughs> foreshadowing is where in a book, Someone hints at something that will happen later. Uh -huh. That's what it. That's what it means. That's what it means. <laughs> Did we stick to the plan? I don't know. Did we? St Are we back on track? I don't know. <laughs> it's diary time. <laughs> diary time. <laughs> ah, it's going really good. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm doing good. Yes and no, I'm back on track, but I'm not back on track, but I am back on track. I, my diet's been going really well. Uh, I did go to the sugar shack, but other than that, one meal, everything has been bang on. My, I've been under my calories uh, the whole time and I've been eating fantastically. Uh, so my diet is way back on track for the entire two weeks. <clears throat> Working out's a little bit less. We did start off strong. We maintained a little bit, but we've fallen off the last couple of days. I'm back on track. I, am I at 100%? No, and it is the laziness it is the fact that we fell off the wagon uh, earlier of the 14 days i think we've worked out eight or nine of them which isn't which is still good especially since most things tell you that you only need to work out like 45 minutes three times a week so hopefully we'll be even more backer on tracker uh, after this i'm well i'm well it's been a good two weeks Yes, I'm back on track. I did cheat this weekend. We went to the sugar shack. Is that what it's called? We've been to the sugar shack. So I cheated a bit, but I'm still pretty happy. We, we exercise enough for me to be happy about my <laughs> last two weeks. I feel better <laughs> than uh, I did for the last episode, I guess. After last episode, I really felt bad. Like, like I wasted time, I guess, because we did pretty well and then just stopped. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm back on track. I'm eating well. I'm exercising. I guess I'm good until uh, day nine, 90, I guess. 90. 90. <laughs> 90, 90. I don't know. <laughs> the last day of the revolution. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's how I feel about it. It's going good. Uh, feel strong. Feel good. Feel great. You're back, eh? Am I back on track? Um, yes, I am. I'm actually doing really good now. I went up to about 325, which was even heavier than when I started the revolution. But now I'm all the way back down again. My body fat's gone down, so I'd say I'm back on track. Uh, my diet's going very well. I did have a cheat this week, thanks to my future sister-in-law, who made an amazing uh, carrot cake, and I couldn't help myself <laughs> to have a slice, so uh, thank you for that. What helped me get back on track was seeing uh, the results of the last weigh-in. It was horrendous. I had put on so much weight, I felt like shit myself into uh, training my fucking ass off.
So that was our measurements and fit tests. As you can see, we're we're, we're back on good. we're we're back on track. Back on track. <laughs> we're lean and mean and sexy as ever. Ba bam. <laughs> No, uh, just me? Oh, whatever. <laughs> Episode five was a downer, but uh, we had a warm response from you guys, uh, letting us know that you guys also were going through that slump. And I think, I think that might be the hump. It's where you really need to decide to, no, you know what? It's what, this is, this is it. I decide to quit or I decide to keep moving. And I hope like us, you decide to keep moving. Thank you again to the revolutionaries and the revolutionettes. Thank you very much again. Don't forget to subscribe. If this is your first episode, there are five other episodes. There's a link to that where you can see the whole playlist, watch them all in a row. For those of you that have been there since the beginning, awesome, thank you. Tell your friends, because uh, I think a lot of people need to know this. The, the weight loss community on YouTube is huge, but there's no central hub. We don't know everybody in it. There's so many great people, but they're like, they'll have like 40 subscribers. And there's like a hundred of us. I found like at least a hundred people that are doing the same thing. Oh, yeah. Us. Yeah. Tell them about us so that we can get something together because I think episode seven, we really want to bring the community together. So, if you want to be part of the revolution or you know somebody who should be part of the revolution, come on, come in. Bring them, comment, <laughs> email me, send anything because uh, I'd like to do a big, a big community video. All right, love you guys. High five, a big kisses, and uh, yeah, thank you. Have a pleasant day.